Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Place, where I'm playing Nurgle in Bubble 2. Our last game was a win. We picked up another rotter because we killed a dwarf. But I'm not sure I want to keep this rotter. Ralond is not a very interesting name. So I will fire him. And get down to my usual roster. 13 players, which has been enough for us so far. And uh, we have a bunch of extra money. I do think we need to to spend all that just so we can get our team value down a bit. We can't buy another level of the stadium because that costs 400,000. Maybe we'll try to go for it, keep the money, get a bit of high team value, just for fun. You can always spend it on inducements anyway. I don't remember if we've gotten a level 4 stadium yet. Let's try it. I mean Nurgle can probably do it. Oh, I should have done it 14 seconds earlier. Uh, well, I'll bring you back once I find an opponent then. And it looks like we found Chaos. That's what I get for trying to inflate my team value. Then again, it took me 15 minutes to find the game, so we probably would have faced the same player anyway. And if we spend this money on inducements, it doesn't really change anything. Skullbashers version 2. We'll have a look at his team after... After this. I might as well look now. I think they've fixed that bug. The Defeater. Right, there we go. Uh, so he has a Minotaur that's level 6, with Claw, Tentacles, Pylon, Juggernaut and Jump Up. He rolled a double and didn't take Glocky to jump up, so that's his killer I suppose. Uh, he only has uh, 10 players, am I right? No, he has 11, 11 players. Claw Mighty Blow, Claw Mighty Blow, Beastman, Chaos Warrior. He has a good ball carrier, 4-4, four, four, strength ability. This beastman is hurt. Another claw. That's the sacker there. He's probably gonna chase after our ball carrier. Three guard. So he's a little bit better off than we are. When it comes to killing and and other things. 26-12, that's about on par with our record I'd say. We get some petty cash, we have some extra cash. I think against him we will get... Otherwise a babe? We should probably actually cancel the babe. Let's get a bribe instead. In case he piles on with the Minotaur. That'll maybe discourage him from using pile on with the Minotaur. Then again, if I don't mind him piling on with the Minotaur, so maybe we should have gotten the babe and and uh, had him pile on all the time. Eleven players, so we do want to start an offense here if we can manage it. Because if we can get some removals, he has no babes. It's the soft pitch though. And is this a level 4 stadium? No, it's level 3, right? Say hello. A real killer minotaur. Don't see that all the time. Sort of defense. Is this our last setup? Uh, it might be. Uh, we didn't get to start on uh, 
says, hey, it's actually uh, that's our beast on the field. We don't want him there, though. What against this team? Uh, who do we sacrifice? Gonna have to be... One of the warriors. Oh, do we have to sacrifice two warriors? Does he have any dodge? One guy with dodge. Maybe we can afford to... Leave... Mm, I don't want to leave our frenzy out. I can leave a wrestler out though. He doesn't have that much of a good ball carrier. So let's leave the wrestle off. Get one more that can stand on the line. And then we just use one of the something like this. He blitzes with 5 strength, that's also pretty good to know, since he has 4 strength on his ball carrier. We do want to spread him out, I think. So the Minotaur doesn't get more than one target. The Minotaur hits him now. Does he? Okay, I, I, I'm gonna put them together. He has enough strength that it doesn't really... I don't think he uses this Minotaur um, to tie people up with the tentacles. Doesn't look like it. This guy is also a pretty good uh, blitzer. But he probably uses his Minotaur to blitz. And that means we can do this and uh, he'll hit him here. Maybe his Minotaur will come around and then we can perhaps get a good shot on him. Five strength though. Only armor eight. No block, it's something. And uh, let's try to not kick it to him then. Let's kick it short on this side. Kick and accurate. No, that must be from last game. Yeah, that's from last game. Uh, I played against the dwarfs and he ended it by throwing a pass with his accurate thrower. High kick though meant that this guy still got under it and caught it. Yeah, I did say hello. Good. Oh, you can't go there because we have a frenzy. Oh no, he's not in the middle. What a mistake. I should have put him there. Well, he's not gonna give us a surf. Oh, he gave us a surf! And the fancy guy is too far away. Well, I, I could do it with two uh, GFIs. Then we'd get counter surfed. I'm not gonna do it. Sorry. Let's try to get our beast in there. Tie up some of these. And the claw hit in the turn is not exactly what I'd like. Gonna punch. This is the claw hits. Mighty blow. Our armor is like paper now. Just stun the first. Not to expect that. And then just push into knockdown. And this could be real painful. Okay, doesn't break armor. Now, do we see a Minotaur Pylon? We do! That's the Minotaur Pylon right there. Breaks armor. We're now stunned. The Minotaur is on the ground. And that's a turnover. He doesn't have much else to do. He might take this. He hasn't blitzed yet, though. Uh, he did decide to use one of his four rerolls. Fair enough. He also needs to protect, of course, from the, the foul on the mental. Is that his blitz target? Yes, looks like it. Long foul appearance. Yes! 
saved. It's going to dodge away with the GFI. And fails it. Didn't even have it hit. Have to hit him. He's stunned now. Okay. If we put the beast here, he could punch it with his guys pretty easily. You have this hit though. And well, in theory, we could do that if this hit works. I don't like that hit though. Let's instead try to hit something with claw. Uh, can we tie this guy up somehow? Could put our tackler on him. Though I also wanted to, to foul here. It's not a very good foul. I, I don't think we foul here. Um, so he is hit. We'll go on a blitz. Probably him. So we need this guy here, maybe. This guy. stand up and take another punch. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? You come over to the side. I want to move him, but not yet. I'm going to do this first. Great. Awesome, in fact. Means we have a good, good hit there, and then he could go on the ball carrier. Mm, I like it. Oh, but I have to follow this, of course. Oh, he can still get on the ball carrier up there. As long as I push this guy this way. Very nice. Great start. Tangle Mark is injured. Now, can you move here? That would be awesome. Of course not. That leaves our uh, killer in a bit of a bad spot, actually. I'll bring Frenzy Guy, although I'd like to keep him free. We just allow him to punch our guy for free here. Ah, I'll bring him here at least. Beast, but you can never trust it. Imagine if the beast had gone here. You'd have to put like two more guys here to have a one die to knock down the beast with claw. Sure. But, uh, maybe I shouldn't have stepped that guy up. That's probably a bad move. So now he gets to hit our killer with a killer of his own. That means he's not hitting with the Minerva. So bad. Oh no. Just a stun. Well, that's lucky. Moved him, right? Yes, he did. This would be a nice time for his Minotaur to not stand up. Wait, what? Oh, jump up! I forgot about jump up. <laughs> and it failed. That's pretty unlucky. Okay, so don't stand next to the Minotaur. Try to dodge. Fail the dodge, rerolls the dodge with one of his two remaining rerolls on the last move of the turn, unless he's moving this guy. 
which is not a strange reroll to take. Okay, well, we have a decent uh, stomp here. You stand up here, punch him. Our killer is stunned this turn. Is there anything else we should do first? Uh, who do we blitz with? The beast? Uh, probably not. But we could do some good work here. We want to blitz him, of course. We'd have to sacrifice someone there, though. That would be nice for the beast, but I can't do that. Because he's in the way of that. Right. Okay, let's do this, then. Nice. I'll follow. That's lucky again. Mighty blow breaking on the nine. On its own. You come in here. So I need to move him to be able to blitz. I need to move him to be able to tie these two up with the beast. I'll put him there then. That's now a one die, right? Okay, so he needs to cancel someone first. He could do it. That's good. That means one less assist for this, though. Maybe I go there. Beast is doing nothing. Should at least try to do something. No, doesn't matter. Push, push, for the surf. No push there. That's not reward worthy. I'll put him here, otherwise he can't surf me. He's stunned too. So am I going to stay here? Yeah, I think I'll stay there. And then you stomp on the Minotaur with a 72% chance. Lovely. I'll take that any day. It is a possibility for him to move through here, but if he does, we have some players that can perhaps get to him. We can't get further than this, which means our beast can get there. Well, in theory. Uh, our killer could... Mm, maybe not. But this guy could definitely reach, unless he blocks him. He'd need to knock this guy down too. Okay, he's gonna blitz a rotter with his killer. Didn't break armor. We'll take a hit in return from uh, four strength, unless he dodges. Down to two rerolls. He spent two already. And we haven't spent any, so this is a good start for us. Look at this: four guys removed, and it's not anybody. It's two two guards and the Minotaur. We're out. We've only lost a rotter. He did dodge out. And made a GFI. In order to get a 2 here, and then foul appearance. I mean, this is a foul appearance I would have rerolled if I hadn't already spent 2 rerolls like he has. Because a claw mighty low hit on a warrior is always worth it, especially if it's our only guard. And he rolled foul appearance again. And bow. That's unlucky. And ag again, no. No, he made that. Also one die though, with no, uh, no uh, block. So it looks pretty bad for him here. He stays there with his ball carrier. Should probably blitz one of these two. Push this guy here. Can we get the ball maybe? Stand up here. 
Bring the beast in on these two. Yeah, he moves. Now I could hit this warrior with my killer. What about him? Let's uh, let's have this guy tie him up. Should move maybe one of these. Not there though. Just in case he knocks him down, the beast won't be alone. Nice. Do we need to pile on that? I will follow it. Almost uh, rather pile on than st keep standing here, otherwise I'll take a hit in return. He is knocked out. Pile on to save myself? I think I pile on to save myself. I, we shouldn't pile on there. Okay, oh. And we got the injury and uh, the victory. Well, that was quick. Great start. All the armor rolls went our way. Did we actually get 2 SPP for that last hit? That actually was successful? Not sure. He, he might have uh, actually quit before that hit and uh, registered. Uh, let's reroll this. Get some more money. Not enough for the next uh, upgrade though. Our beast actually levels up and uh, Marquis Poop Soccer gets a little bit of SPP. Let's check the stats. Two injuries inflicted. Does that mean it counted? Hail Pony with two injuries. I think that means it counted. Let's have a quick look. I mean, that was a short game. Let's watch the replay. Skip to the end. Let's see how it ended. It doesn't really matter if you get injured or not. I just want to see if you can actually save yourselves from an injury if you quit during the pylon. I don't think so, because it rolls before that. Can you? Oh, I have to do this. Not very great replay control. Now, this is our opponent's view. It's very strange when you play the game from the other side. See this. Okay, I can't skip forward anymore. So this is our last turn. This is what our opponent saw. He saw a bunch of uh, Nurgle being very meticulous and uh, tying up his players. Of course, all these players out. And here's the hit that ended the game. It was a punch. Knockdown. out injured this is a niggling injury actually that he has to do deal with now so maybe he quit when he saw the niggling injury while we were looking at the animation but he should have used his apothecary on that day if he was, if he was quitting maybe he used his apothecary before that I can't remember Anyway, good game for us. Quick, but uh, good. We now have 11, uh, 110 team value that we're not doing anything with, it's just money. But we're only 140k off that uh, upgrade. So maybe we'll keep doing this with, with a bit more money than, uh, than uh, necessary.
matchmaking is still probably gets us the same game. So it doesn't matter that much. It gives us a little bit of a handicap, but it's 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 uh, probably ha uh, manageable. We have to get used to playing with this high team value anyway when we get our team a little bit higher. And the beast gonna level up. What can we get? What do we get on a double? Do we get block or do we get claw? What do we get on a on a regular? Mm. Break tackle not so good. Guard is good. I'll see you next turn, next time. Uh, that's it for this game, though. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry for the short video, but that happens when you're playing in this league, and especially when you're playing with a kill team like the Nurgle. Uh, but uh, I'll be back next time. I hope I'll see you then.